So this is the second to the last part of our six-part series for hypothesis testing and we will be discussing the t-test for two sample means. This will be our formula. So t is equals to uh, the mean of the first sample indicated by your x bar subscript of 1 less the mean of the second sample so indicated by your x bar subscript of 2 divided by your standard deviation of the first sample indicated by your s subscript of 1 squared all over the number of items for the sum first sample so that's indicated by your n subscript of 1 plus your standard deviation for the second sample so indicated by your s subscript of 2 and then you need to square the value divided by your uh, number of items for the second sample indicated by your n subscript of 2 so please take note that we will use t-test if there's normal distribution and if the sample size is less than 30 it's small and standard deviation comes from the sample okay so we will still be using the same uh, table for the critical values for t-test as we have used on on the previous video for the t-test for one sample mean and here's the continuation of our critical values so let's move on to our uh, first illustrative example so we have here two groups of business administration students so both groups took an economic test and 16 students coming from operations management uh, major got an average score of 77 and standard deviation of 2.5 so if you will identify the variables 16 is our sample size 16 students okay number of items on your sample size so 16 and then we have average score of 77 so 77 is your mean so that's your first mean and uh, its respective standard deviation is 2.5 so that's our first standard deviation okay and then uh, we also have 14 students majoring human resource management so this item this this 14 or number 14 indicates our second sample size okay that's our n subscript of 2 and then this 14 students got an average score of 81 so this is our second mean second sample mean and their standard deviation is 3.5 so that's our second standard deviation so uh, our problem here is uh, we will try to test whether this operations management student are more intelligent than the human resource management students so we will assume that the uh, distribution of the probability is normal and we will be having 0.5 percent as our alpha level okay so we will still follow the same seven steps so if you're not familiar with these seven steps you can just go back to the first video presentation so moving on step one we'll now formulate our null and alternative hypothesis so we have it here null hypothesis uh, operations management students are not more intelligent than human resource students so technically it comes from the problem okay, the research problem or, or the uh, problem found on the case and then our alternative hypothesis will just contradict the null so our alternative is operations management students are more intelligent than human resource students so our level of significance is 5% or 0.5% rather. So that's 0 0.005. And so what type of test are we going to use? Uh, I've already discussed it during the, the first slide. We'll be using t-test. Okay, but we'll uh, determine what specific t-test are we going to use. 
So why are we going to use t-test? Because sample standard deviation is known. So these are our standard deviations coming from our sample. So 2.5 and 3.5. And then our sample size is small. We have 16 and 14. So they are both small. It's less than 30. And we have assumed that uh, the distribution of probability is normal. So we also have two sample means. So 77 and 81. Therefore, we'll be using t-test for two sample means. And what type of t-test? Is it one-tailed or two-tailed? So based on our alternative hypothesis, we'll be using a one-tailed test. Okay, so one-tailed test. So step number four, we will now determine our tabular value. So there. This is our table for the critical values for t-test. And what are our given? First, we have alpha level of 0 0.005. So we look for 0 0.005. So it's found here. Okay. And it's stated it's one tailed. So that's correct. One tailed 0 0.005. So our critical value is found on this column. Okay. So what's the next step uh, for us to identify what's our tabular value? We will now compute for our degree of freedom, our DF here. So for uh, t-test for two sample mean, our formula for degree of freedom is as follows. So our sample size 1 plus sample size 2 less 2. Okay. So in here, we'll be having 16 plus 14. So we have 16 and 14 minus 2. Our degree of freedom is 28. So we have it here. Row of 28 degree of freedom. And we have 0 0.005 level of significance. So that's 2.763. There, 2.763. And next step, we will now compute for uh, the, the value using our formula. Okay, so we have our sample mean one is 77. So there, 77, the first sample mean. And then standard deviation 1, so our first standard deviation is 2.5, so it's here, 2.5 squared, based on our formula. And sample size 1, so this one, 16 students who got an average score of 77, standard deviation of 2.5. So we have placed 16 here. And then second sample mean, is 81 so this one average score and then standard deviation of 3.5 there and we have 14 students there so if you will simplify so 77 minus 81 divided by the square root of the summation of these two uh, values will be having 3.5556 so please take note that tabular value computed value, we will use the absolute values. We will disregard the negative sign. So I know 77 minus 81 is negative. Divided by any number, the answer should be negative. But again, we will use the absolute value. So step six, we will now compare the computed value and your tabular value. So computed value is 3.5556. Tabular value is 2.763. So therefore, for our conclusion, we will accept our alternative hypothesis. Okay, we will accept alternative hypothesis. Therefore, it simply means that there's a significant difference between these two mean scores. Okay, in which the significant difference is our interpretation. So here, operations management students are more intelligent than human resource management students based on their scores. Okay, so again, uh, this is just a um, hypothetical data. Okay, so I'm not really generalizing the, the majors. Okay, so there. This is just based on our example. Second example, so we have uh, 10 senior high students were subjected to predict Observe, observed, explained strategy in teaching biology. 
So uh, they achieved an average score of 7.5 while another 10. Okay, so this first 10 senior high students is our first sample size. Average score of 7.5, that's our first sample mean. And then we have 10, that's our second sample size. Okay in which they were subjected to the usual approach. And these 10 individuals had a mean score of 6. So this is our second uh, sample mean. Okay, so that's our X bar subscript of 2. And then both have standard deviation of 1.5. So meaning uh, for standard deviation 1 and standard deviation 2, we have the same value, which is 1.5. So our problem here is for us to assess whether your POE strategy is effective approach in teaching senior high students. And we will try to check whether uh, those students, these 10 senior high students, have significant difference with these 10 uh, students were subjected to the usual approach in terms of their scores. Okay, and then we'll be using 0 0.05 as our level of significance. So again, this is t-test, so we will assume that the distribution is normal. Okay, the probability distribution is normal. So we will follow the seven steps still. So for our null hypothesis, there is this should be no okay so there is no significant difference between the scores of students exposed to poe and those who were not so please remove letter t it should be there's no and then alternative there is a significant difference between the scores of students exposed to poe and those who were not and our level of significance is 0 0.05 so our alpha level is 0 0.05 so what type of test so technically this is t t test because our sample standard deviation is known we have 1.5 and then sample size is small so we have 10 and another 10 for the second sample size and uh, we have assumed that the distribution of the probability or probability distribution is normal so we have two sample means, 7.5 and 6.0. So therefore, we'll be using t-test for two sample means. So what type of test? Uh, directional or non-directional or one-tailed or two-tailed. It's based on our alternative hypothesis in which we will be using two-tailed test because our hypothesis is non-directional. So... We will now determine the critical value or tabular value for the test. So for the given alpha level of 0 0.05, so we have two here. Okay. So what will be our uh, qualifier? We are using two tailed. So we have two tailed 0 0.05. The critical value is found on this particular column. And degree of freedom. So there. Okay, so sample size 1 plus sample size 2 minus 2. So we will be having 18. So degree of freedom of 18 and here. Okay, so uh, level of significance 0 0.05 for two tails, two tail test. So we have 2.101. That's for our tabular value. So if we will compute, we have 7.5 minus 6 divided by the square root of 1.5 square over 10 and 1.5 square over 10. So we have the same standard deviation because it states here that both have standard deviation of 1.5. So our value is 2.2361. So next step, we will now compare our computed value is greater than our tabular value. Therefore, we will accept our alternative hypothesis. So for our interpretation, we have here. 
So there is a significant difference between the scores of these uh, two students. Okay, so here. So this is our correct uh, case. So please disregard this one. Okay, because I think this is for the the uh, first example. Okay, for for the uh, previous video rather. Okay, but uh, this is our um, interpretation. So again, this is not the case. The case is on the senior high students. Okay, so I was uh, not able to to edit it. However, uh, this is our interpretation. So that ends the second to the last part of our uh, discussion for hypothesis testing.